So now many of the core strategies in our strategic plan, they focus on big, important topics that academia and the arts and entertainment industry are confronting. And in September, I shared the first of a series of presentations to help broaden our perspective and look at trends in the arts and entertainment industry that will also inform our work as we strive to become a conservatory for the 21st century. These presentations will work in tandem with UNCSA Forward, but also expand into related areas to focus on how we prepare students with the necessary skills and experiences to succeed. The first one was a deeper look into equity, diversity, inclusion, and belonging, the impact that work is already having on the industry, and why it's important for today's students and those that will come after them. But today I'd like to talk a little bit more about what it means when we talk about interdisciplinary work in the arts. How that idea reflects successful trends in the industry and why it is essential for the careers of our young artists and the future of UNCSA. Conservatories were conceived as a place where students can excel in their chosen discipline with a focus and a rigor that would not be possible in a more traditional college environment. But we also have a unique opportunity for multidisciplinary artistic collaboration because of the five arts disciplines that we have on this campus and the collaborative ecosystem that we all inhabit. There are already some obvious connections, the way music is an integral part of dance, filmmaking, and theater, how acting is a part of dance and opera in addition to theater and film, how the visual arts permeate design, production, and entertainment, and then there is the melding of multiple disciplines to create entirely new forms of artistic expression and experiences. Our students are part of a new generation for whom this comes more naturally than it did previously. They already don't think within the boundaries of various disciplines, but rather across them. And for many of them, making their own work is as important, for some if not more so, than interpreting existing works of the canon. Experience in the intersections of different art forms and genres is a critical component in the development of artists for the industry of today and the artists of the industry beyond that. Indus opportunities that put highly skilled young artists together to work on projects that transcend traditional institutional boundaries will significantly complement our students' learning and prepare them for successful 21st century careers. To illustrate this, I asked our deans, faculty, and staff to provide examples of this innovative type of work happening across the industry, the kind of work already informing the perspective of our faculty and our students. They responded with numerous examples of artists bending genres, collaborating across disciplines, and thinking outside the box to create wholly new experiences, attracting new and more inclusive audiences, and connecting more directly to their communities. Many more examples than I could include in today's report, but here is a sampling of them. I often think back to January 2020 when I had the opportunity to see Ivo Van Hove's reimagining of a West Side Story that used live and produced video on the stage, providing a unique perspective that enhanced the storytelling. To quote the New York Times, Van Hove is known for his innovative use of video and his, quote, explosive demolitions of hallowed classics. His work leverages the proliferation of screens in our society with the visceral impact of live theater. I feel fortunate that I saw that groundbreaking production before the pandemic, as it was one of many that economically couldn't survive the Broadway shutdown. It was the most successful marriage between a film and live theater that I have ever seen. And it was great that it also featured alumnus Isaac Cole Powell as a lead, as well as many other fighting pickles backstage and in the pit. A similar example was Schaubühne Berlin's successful 2019 stage adaptation of Eduard Luis's autobiographical novel, History of Violence. Performed at St. Anne's Warehouse in New York, the actors used mics placed throughout the stage to enhance the text, transitioning from live to reproduced sound. The production also used live video production on the back wall of the stage as the actors openly filmed each other with cameras and tripods and cell phones. We've seen some similar innovative audio techniques in some of our own devised theater productions, such as Love and Depositions in April of 2021. At the Komische Oper, an acclaimed 2018 production of Mozart's The Magic Flute combined animation, live action footage, projection mapping, opera, and stagecraft. These examples showcase how technology can intersect with the arts and how 
different visual mediums can be interlaced to enhance traditional modes of storytelling. One can easily imagine these sorts of collaborations happening across our schools of drama, filmmaking, design and production, and music. In the music world, artists are weaving popular and folk genres with classical traditions to create innovative new works and connecting musical projects to untold stories, as well as the issues of our times, making their art more relevant to new audiences and their communities. Healing Project by musician Samora Pinderhues is a years-long undertaking based on roughly a hundred interviews he conducted with people of color who had been incarcerated or had experienced some other kind of its structural violence. The first part of the project was a visual art exhibition that opened in the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts in San Francisco, followed by an LP titled Grief, and an online archive of the interviews with an accompanying interactive online experience. And pianist and scholar Vijay Eir, with whom Pinderhue studies at Harvard, described him by saying, quote, he's sort of imagining another way to be a musician. Similarly, the innovative ensemble Alarm Will Sound will soon premiere Paper Pianos by Mary Kayumdian, an evening-length multimedia work exploring the dislocation, longing, and optimism of refugees. The piece combines recordings from interviews with refugees and resettlement workers with the animations of visual artist Kevork Murad to vividly depict the emotional landscape of displacement and resettlement experienced by refugees throughout the world. Alarm Will Sound will also combine dance and new music in a site-specific performance called Twinned, created for the Metropolitan Museum of Art with Dance Hegenbotham, and also performed an opera by Kate Soper in which the instrumental players themselves are the singers. The world of immersive and themed entertainment is a booming business rooted in artistic sensibilities, often involving artists who have trained in the various classical genres. The designer Ez Devlin, one of the world's most in-demand theater designers, made her name in theater and opera. But her work can now be seen in the world's major art galleries, massive stadium shows by pop artists like The Weeknd, Super Bowl halftime shows, and even the closing ceremonies of the Olympic Games. And in the words of New Yorker magazine, she staged, quote, everything from Shakespeare to yay. Devlin's immersive sculpture pieces that combine light, music, and language have become a focal point of shows and work in art in and of themselves. One of the most compelling immersive experiences is James Terrell's Aku, which is an ancient Egyptian that roughly translates to soul, at Super Blue in Miami. It begins with the audience viewing a film that opens into an immersive event, embracing every theatrical art form imaginable. Super Blue is also a home to a new work by Devlin, Forest of Us, drawing on the Shakespearean tradition of forests being a place of transformation. An immersive environment that begins as a movie with visitors able to walk through the film into a mirror maze. Other examples include popular shows that you might have seen like Immersive Van Gogh, which blends projection mapping, music, animation, and visual art. The Meow Wolf Company, which includes film, literature, LED technologies, and of course, Cirque du Soleil, which utilizes dance, mime, puppetry, animatronics, clowning, optical technologies. Multidisciplinary arts experiences now even extend to the incredibly popular escape rooms and other role-playing events. The New York City-based Cree Art Box, an ensemble devoted to multidisciplinary events, presents visual concerts. Visual art and theatrical design techniques are utilized to enhance the audience's listening experience of classical and contemporary music while respecting the original musical composition. These multimedia performances are often presented in medium-sized venues that allow the audience to be fully immersed in the atmosphere of the production created by lights and projections. And along these lines, interactive hologram technology is making its way into every entertainment and art-making discipline. As described by Dean Deborah Levine, quote, it is Zoom on steroids, and it will make an impact on the entertainment industry. Concerts, sporting events, fashion, comedy clubs, filmmaking that films actors existing in the same scene while being physically apart in spaces across the world, and many other applications will use this or something similar in the near future. And in the dance world, movement, sound, visual art, and film are coming together in unique ways. Our alumnus, Trey McIntyre, has woven dance, art, photography, and film together throughout his career with his company, Trey McIntyre Project, and Flatpak, 
a performance, a, a platform for dance on film. His company has created original works as well for film projects, interactive site-specific works, and photography collections. Choreographer Shen Wei's expansive repertoire includes works that use a variety of mediums, including visual art, sound, and video, and which has been performed in various venues, including the opening ceremony of the 2008 Olympics. Recently, his work as a visual artist and choreographer has developed into a series of performative installations and site-specific works presented at museums and galleries worldwide, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the North Carolina Museum of Art. You can see Shen Wei's Ray 3 in February, from February 23rd through the 26th at our Winter Dance Performance. And the work will be restaged by Kate Jewett, an alumna of UNCSA and Shen Wei Dance Arts. UNCSA is uniquely situated to encourage this kind of multidisciplinary collaboration and interdisciplinary innovation. I feel that it is our responsibility to provide space for and encourage these explorations, allowing our students to blossom in new and unexpected ways as they take their creativity out into the world. In this photo, you see the recent production of Amadeus that brought drama, design, production, and music students into the creative space in a way that has never been done before at this institution. It was wonderful to experience that production. And I know that many of you also had that opportunity. What I've consistently heard from students throughout my time as UNCSA, as Dean and Chancellor, is that they crave more of these opportunities, not just on the stage, but in the studio, in the classroom. Collaborative and iterative work by high level students that results in something new. And as you've heard me say before, it's embracing our role as a conservatory, but also our role as a laboratory. There are large initiatives underway, such as our collaborative scheduling initiative that will help provide new space for our students' experiences for exploration across genres. But I think we are and have been just scratching the surface in terms of the kind of interdisciplinary collaborations that are possible at our institution. As traditional modes of creation and consumption of the arts are being disrupted, we must foster an environment that cultivates artists who will break boundaries, create new connections and art forms, and ultimately lead and improve the evolving industry. Though they might define themselves as dancers, actors, musicians, designers, and filmmakers, above all, our students are artists. And the possibilities for artistic expression are endless. Having those experiences within there at the start of their careers gives them an edge that students at other institutions won't necessarily have. And that edge is what we want for our students and what we should want the UNCSA experience to be known for. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, and that concludes my report.